world's superhero population has been infected with a virus which turned them into unpainted miniatures. Rob the board game miniature painter shall lay waste to that pile of gray shame. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. We're back with another Guardians of the Galaxy miniature for Marvel Zombies. This is Nebula, who were both primed with either a matte black primer given a zenithal of the matte gray, or given a whole matte gray thing. Uh, and these are the paints you're going to be needing. Yeah, you saw Nolan Oil at the beginning because we're going to actually be putting Nolan Oil on the hero version that's got the gray. And by the way, I'd never done this before actually. Well, not specifically on the uh, matte gray air primer. But wow, does the Nolan Oil ever do a good job getting into the recesses and telling you exactly where the highlights are going to be and all that stuff. It's amazing. And then what I did is I actually dry brushed on top of the Zenithal. And I think I found a almost perfect recipe now for speed paints. I thought I'd found it before just with the dry brushing over the gray. But it's more of a heavy brush. And again, look at on top of the uh, known oil here. You can still see the recesses really well. And the Zenithal is still there. It's got the gray. It's got the white. So it's got a really good gradient. And of course, we're starting off with Bony Matter, matter <laughs> on Nebula here. They had the zombie version. Not too much of the skin. You know, she is like a cyborg. So it is a little bit harder to find spots that are zombified here. And we're turning over to the Pastel Indigo. Um, on the skin of Nebula and I'm telling you when it dries it looks amazing like the pastel just shows really well gives it a nice coloration to the skin had to be careful here uh, on the zombie version uh, not to get some of the spots where we had to put the skeleton or bony matter whatever it was called sorry not skeleton and then we're turning to another pastel color the lavender one just for that middle part of her face and then we're going to the purple swarm, which we're going to be putting on all the clothing. And boy, does this color really pop where it's white, it's darker where it's gray, and then it's even darker where it's black. Now, there's not too much black left. Well, not especially not on the hero version because it was just done with the gray and then uh, the shade like you saw at the beginning. And there I accidentally painted her arm, which was supposed to be metallic. But anyways, fix that. And as you can see now with the... Uh, all the recesses being darker it was darker anyways now in the zombie version we're really going to see that gradient of color going from the black to the gray to the white and it's not slap chop here it's a zenithal chop or a zenith chop oh i'm gonna that's it zenith chop folks let's make this happen hashtag zenith chop i don't know if anyone else decided to do this or whatever but i am coining that phrase is that what we would say? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Zenichop is my, I think is going to be one of my go-tos for the zombie parts. And I love what I did with the uh, Nolan Oil here. So I ended up doing that on the rest of the Guardians um, to be able to speed things up a bit. And I won't show every time in the video that I put it on and then I slap, I, I, I dry brush some white on it. You'll just have to assume that that's done. I'll actually mention it in those videos as well. So we're getting through the Guardians of the Galaxy set. Some of them are in the Kickstarter exclusives. I believe Star Lord was a Kickstarter exclusive. And then the rest of them, I think most of them are in the Guardians of the Galaxy box set. And it also includes Thanos and that. I didn't want to paint Thanos at the same time as these guys. I'm just doing the Guardians right now. And Gamora only has a zombie version and Groot only has a hero version. So it's kind of interesting that they didn't do an opposite of those ones. I don't know what the decision was there, but it's funny because the rest of the Guardians all have their same version because they could have made done with other Marvel characters such as Black Knight or uh, some other ones, Crossbones and that. I mean, that are a little less important in the Marvel Universe, frankly, than Gamora and Groot. Uh, anyways, but I guess that was a decision for them. We're putting on the final color here now, Grim Black. Uh, there's like a little thing on her chest, and then there's the gun and uh, the, the, the handle of her sword. So now you can see where it goes from to the preparation phase, right to the painted phase. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. 